So now both of the routers are actually uh, switched on and as it says in the actual setup guide, um, I know most of us probably won't read it, but <laughs> it's uh, basically when the LED turns solid blue to indicate the uh, Zen Wi-Fi Pro is ready to set up. So once you've got on the main router here, the one that's plugged into the internet is a solid blue color, that means you're ready to, for the setup. So now we're going to move on to actually the setup using the app on my iOS device. It should be the same for Android as well because both of them have the similar interface. So now we've got the two uh, routers set up and they blow, both are showing a solid blue light. It means that we're ready to set up using the app. So as you can see here, I've already downloaded the app. But if you need to download it, you can just scan, as I said before, the QR code. And um, that's in both the quick start guide and also the uh, app setup instructions. Uh, both of them have the QR code or you can just search for the Asus router app as you can see here. So once you've uh, gone into it, you just click on here and it will give you the welcome screen. Also just to be sure, just to make sure you switched on Bluetooth on your device uh, is always a good idea. So now you want to set up a new network. So we just go to setup and you can see here where it lists all the different devices. So ours is um, the Zen Wi-Fi series. So that's a mesh, so that's the second one down. So we just click on here. And then it'll ask you what model. So the series is ours is uh, ET12. So we just click on this one. And now it'll start discovering to do a search. So you either search by Bluetooth or for any uh, Wi-Fi networks that you've just uh, that are open. So it might take a minute or so. So you can see that it's searched straight away and it's found that both the uh, main router and the second uh, router as well. So you can see it's shown both of them straight away. So you just click on here. Again, if you don't see it, just hit the refresh button in the top right hand corner with the two little arrows, uh, just to refresh it again and make sure you do have uh, Bluetooth and Wi-Fi enabled. You'll see now it's connecting to the actual uh, main network. So it will actually connect to the uh, main router uh, and everything else and then start the, the uh, setup process. It is quite straightforward. The app does most of the work for you. Thankfully, the user interface has got much better over time from Asus and it's one of the better out there compared to other manufacturers that I've used. Um, it's so much more user friendly and helps you troubleshoot as well. So you can see here it's come, just coming to the end now. So you can see here that we're just detecting internet uh, status. So what it's detecting now is to see if you are connected via um, PPoE or if you've got uh, an automatic IP address or you've got some other way of connecting to the internet. So it's going to try and automatically detect it. Sometimes it might not be able to and you can then manually enter your details here. So you can, as you can see here, uh, it does ask you, if, does your uh, internet service provider have any special uh, information that you need to put in there, like a VLAN or anything like that. Um, so you can toggle that on and then you can choose here. If you do, if your um, internet service provider is not there, you can scroll all the way to the bottom and you've got manual setting where you can manually set that up as well. So you can click cancel. So my one doesn't require any. I can, then I can just click next. Here's you can actually set up the Wi-Fi networks. So you can see I've got the 2.4 and the 5, and then you've got the 6. So it's a hit, as you can see here, you can, can separate it, uh, the networks. So if you do that, you can see then it's got the 2, the 5, and the 6. Um, if not, then you'll just have the 2 and the 5 uh, gigahertz frequencies together, and then you'll have the 6 that's on a separate network. It's up to your individual, um, uh, basically, you know, how you like your home setup. I prefer to separate them out. So all my devices on 2.4 are normally the older devices like wireless doorbells and IP cameras and things like that. And then smart plugs. The five gigahertz I still uh, use for your course um, for the actual Wi-Fi 6 devices. So even your PlayStation 5 and Xbox and uh, gaming PCs and anything like that. Uh, normally all connects to the 5 gigahertz, the same as your Roku and Apple TV, if you don't have that connected by Ethernet. 
And then again, you have the uh, six gigahertz frequency. That's the brand new one that you've got your uh, devices. Um, there is a growing um, amount of devices that are coming out that support the Wi-Fi uh, 6E standard. So hopefully uh, other manufacturers will slowly start rolling out more products and devices that will support it. So for just for easy for now, we'll just set this up. You do have to name it all yourself. So we can just for now, we can just say uh, the network. And of course, uh, always use a secure password if you can. Uh, never use anything that uh, is easily guessed because um, of course they're for security. So I'm just going to put in something straightforward. So it will tell you here if it is a, if your password is strong or, or weak or anything like that. And you can see it automatically adds just a 6G onto the other one so you don't have to keep typing and it will just replicate the password for you. So that's good. So you just click next. This is the uh, setup. So this is your uh, information that you'll need to log into the actual uh, router. So you've got your username and password. So your router can, um, you can set this up. So normally the default is normally the admin admin, um, but you can set this up to something more secure. But again, I'm just going to be for convenience, set this up as uh, something easy. Again, it'll tell you the strength as well um, of the uh, password. Again, it's telling me it's weak, but again, you should uh, use a very strong password and different from your Wi-Fi as well when setting this up. And then username, try and do something with some numbers on the end as well. Again, it's something you have to remember. So if you do, just make sure you note it down. Um, but it's good that you have different passwords. So even if someone does find out your uh, login for each any of them, then they can't get in and change the settings on your router as well. So finally, you just click the apply button and you'll see that it's now applying all the settings to your uh, network. So basically it will connect to the main router that's connected to the internet and also apply the settings across using the AI Mesh 2.0 standard from Asus. That's what makes the Asus brands of products much easier to use than others. I know others uh, brands out there uh, like Netgear and TP-Link have their own versions of uh, using a mesh network, but I find the uh, Asus one so much easier to use, especially in the 2.0 version, the new version. Uh, it sets up and synchronizes everything and using uh, back call settings as well. If you do want to use the uh, Ethernet, uh, then you can just toggle that on as well. And we'll go into the advanced settings, of course, like my other videos uh, later on in the uh, series of videos. So as you can see here, it's just now applying the settings. Again, just give it some time. It'll probably disconnect and connect again. And uh, we'll come back once this is done. As you can see now, the settings have been applied and it's asking if you want to connect to the Asus router um, once to join. So you just click on join and it should automatically connect you to uh, your network that you've just set up. And you can see mine was, was called the network. And of course it automatically added a prefix at the end for the six gigahertz frequency, the new Wi-Fi 6C uh, channel. So again, as you can see here, it's doing the optimization for you. So it's setting up your node. So that's your second uh, router that we've um, put in a distance of just three meters away while we're doing the setup. Once you've done that, then of course you can unplug it and move it to whichever area you are. It does have uh, lights indicating um, how uh, far away, if it's a good reception or not. So again, you don't want to put it too so far away that the signal is rather weak. Uh, I think a solid uh, white light is a good signal. A solid yellow is a weak signal. And of course a solid red is no signal at all. So you're hoping to get a solid white um, uh, light. Um, so basically it shows you it's got a good signal between the, the node and the uh, main uh, router. So all your uh, computers and everything that connects to it is all connected. So as you can see here, I've now set up the uh, network and it, of course it's done the uh, 6G one as well and it displays all your information as well and it says good connection. So that means it's connected to the internet. Gives you an LED guide as well. So it gives you an idea here of all the uh, 
set up so what the actual colors are and everything else of when it's set up so again it's all very clear and user friendly and this is why you normally pay the extra money is because if you have all this clear instructions and it just works kind of thing you don't have to worry about it and again so once we've done that we just click on finish you might have to update them so you know update with the firmware so of course come from the factory so you just click on update and it will start downloading um, if there is available any new firmware so you can see here firmware update it might have failed uh, because I think it's going through the setup process and also my uh, Wi-Fi um, main uh, connects to um, another uh, main ISP router so it might not be able to connect but yours should just download with no problem and we'll go through as well if you do have that issue where it doesn't download the firmware gives you an error like this then um, in, in the next videos when we go through the advanced settings we can then show you um, where you go into the app or on the uh, web-based uh, GUI and uh, where you can download and uh, auto update the firmware as well so there's no need to worry about it right now to be honest and we'll just let this uh, process finish and then we'll come back so now we can see that the uh, firmware has been uh, updated. If it does get stuck on the firmware uh, update screen when you're setting up the router for any reason, then it may be um, that you just need to wait another five minutes, make sure the router has restarted and you can see it within your Wi-Fi settings. Uh, manually connect to the Wi-Fi network. So in my case, it was called the network. Uh, connect that to it and type in your password close down the ASUS app and then just open it up again and then it will open up as a normal but it's best just to wait at least 10 to 15 minutes to make sure it's restarted properly and everything's connected and then you'll be able to come into this screen and agree so you will be able to uh, have to accept this if you want all the settings so basically this opens up the uh, HTTPS that's a secure protocol and enables access from the WAN and also the dynamic DNS that we've gone through before where that gives you your IP address of 192.168.50.1 instead it gives it a, a router.myip.net or anything like that so it's easy for you to remember so we just click on accept and again uh, you'll probably have to click on agree and it'll apply these settings and you can see here where it's got the actual um, so it's giving you successful so that's good so now you can see uh, what devices are connected uh, to the actual main router and you've got all the different settings here as well. So in the next video we'll go through the advanced settings uh, within the app and also accessing it via the uh, web, um, so via your browser, so that if that's Edge in, uh, or Google Chrome or Firefox or um, any other browser that you're using to access it um, for your computer or tablet or phone. Um, we'll both go through both just to do a comparison. I know some people prefer the app, some people prefer the uh, web interface. So we'll go through that and go through all these settings as well as the advanced settings. So I hope this setup video has been helpful. I know it's been a bit longer than usual, um, but again, I'll put some chapters in so hopefully you can skip between the, the two and it'll give you a good idea of the setup process and uh, any troubleshooting as well. As usual, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks for watching and have a great day.